Welcome guys to Western Australia and the Ningaloo Reef. Let's take a look at some of the creatures that live here. You can find groups of manta rays being cleaned by reef fish. You can also only snorkel with them, so no tank diving. You can only approach manta rays from the side or from behind to avoid their line of sight. While approaching, make sure your snorkel isn't broken. I don't know how many times I have to explain this, but whale sharks are sharks, not whales. They have gills and the tails move from side to side rather than up and down. The lifespan of a wild whale shark can be up to 100 years, but in captivity, they usually die within five years. Please, please, please guys, do not swim with whale sharks in captivity. Swimming with whale sharks in the wild can actually help fund marine sanctuaries. While swimming with one of these fellas, some swim really slowly and some of them are an absolute pain to keep up with. The dots on a whale shark are unique to that specific shark, and that shark will keep its dots for the rest of its life. To this day, no one has seen the birth of a baby whale shark. Its mating and birthing patterns are still unknown. A female whale shark can carry up to 300 embryos at different stages of development. The embryos may be fertilized by different male whale sharks. Whale sharks eat only plankton and grow to be 14 meters in length, which makes these guys the biggest fish in the whole world. The Ningaloo Reef has some truly beautiful sea life. Thank you for watching.